I don't understand. Where's the queen? She's not here. That's clear. She must be a witch. She's disappeared like magic. They say that the priestesses of Isis have extraordinary powers. Magic nonsense. This can be explained logically, and we'll find out how, but not now. In the meantime, they're sure to have discovered the guards we knocked out, and they'll be on our trail. Glaucus is right. Let's get back to our Bella right now. seen what we'll do to you if you don't speak? Answer me, you fool. Who leads the rebels? Speak! Murderer! Rebellious dog, his men would rather die than speak. Every day he gets more audacious. He frees my slaves under the eyes of the gods. It's too much! Now, now, Arimandro, don't be stupid. Your mind won't stop working. Men are available in your prisons, and you know there are plenty. And you replenish the prisons daily with the discontented in Arbela, and these are thousands. <laughs> I'm relieved to see you happy. Evidently, the recent news we've had of a new attack by the rebels isn't true, if you can laugh so loudly. Believe me, that's not so. But fortunately, six of these bandits are now in chains in our dungeons. I've given orders for their immediate execution. That's perfect. But I, I think it would be better if the execution were held publicly, before the whole population. That way, they will be an example. Ah, an excellent idea, Your Majesty. Actually, the population is getting restive and would profit by a good example. With Your Highness's permission? Did the goddess inspire you with the answer I expect? Isis spoke in favor of you but made a condition that we put off announcing our wedding officially until after the feast dedicated to her. But months may pass, and I refuse to be put off any longer. Besides, the situation's developing rapidly. What did you say? We have decided to invade the Roman province of Syria. Decided? Yes. By whom? The Parthians are already marching on Arbela to join with our troops. But the treaty you signed for me with the Parthians obliged them to consult with us before making such a decision. Exactly, and I approved it. Without asking me? Should I have consulted you? There are times when your mask of perfect prime minister is so completely natural that I forget that I am only a figurehead. You should never forget that, Maluya. If you are queen of Arbela, it's only because I have permitted it. And you will continue to reign only so long as I wish you to. And you'll behave accordingly. This country is completely in my power. 
as it already was before your father's death, and as it continued to be after you came to the throne. Then why do you want to marry me and become king? You couldn't be any more powerful than you already are. Hmm, that's quite true. Well, suppose we just say that I want to legitimize my position for the people of Arbela and begin a dynasty. And besides, you made me crazy with love. Now I understand, Arimandro. I imagine we'd better not postpone the wedding. We'll make the announcement tomorrow morning publicly, immediately after the executions. As you like, Your Majesty. You know that your slightest wish is a command. Where are they going? There's one infallible way of finding out. What's that? Go with them. How could we do otherwise? To the horses. Gracious, you go on alone. Wait for me in the Temple of Isis. I'll join you there as soon as possible. Have you gone crazy? I'll bring Sextus Veturius. He mustn't be left behind in our bailer. That's madness! Don't you realize the risks you'll be running in the city? He's a fellow Roman, so of course I feel responsible. What are you talking about? I understand your surprise, but you must leave with me. And quickly. I'm a centurion acting on orders from the proconsul of Syria. Now that Queen Maloya has been made our prisoner, we must make our way immediately to Antioch. Your only chance is to come with us. It would be madness to delay. You will be the first to feel the wrath of Arimandro. Of course. Of course. Thank you. But before departure, I must destroy some documents. Tell me, where shall I find you? We'll be waiting at the Temple of Isis. I beg you not to delay. We must make our departure during the night. Don't worry, I won't be long. Here, wear this. Thank you. We'll be waiting. Did you hear? Yes, perfectly. What should I do then? Keep the appointment. With Arimandro and his soldiers. Salima, if I do that, I'll never be able to return to Rome. I would be an outcast forever. We believe that you had decided not to return when you began to accept our gold a long time ago. That's unfair, Salima. If I was a traitor to Rome, it was for you. Because I love you. Not for gold. Which you never refused. Never mind, we mustn't waste time. Now we must move very quickly. I mean very quickly. I came as soon as I could. Did you meet any soldiers on your way here? 
At Arbella, the people have rebelled and they've closed the gates. No one can enter or leave. But here, everything's calm. We'd better hurry up then. I'm sorry. But we will set you free only when we get across the border. What's wrong? When we came, the crickets were chirping. Ah! Quick, the women's at the temple. Roach to catch. Thanks. Into the temple. You're going to the temple. There's a secret passage. Hurrah! Into the temple, boys! Get inside. Come on. Over here. Attack now. Stop the Parthian soldiers. Take care of Myrtle. Wait for us here. Watch out, the passage. Well, men, now we can rest for a bit. There's at least 30 feet of stone between us and the Parthians. Is anyone hurt? I'm all right. Just a scratch. Myrta, where are you? Where's Myrta? Myrta! Myrta! You will pay for them all. Take her away. Let's go back. Yes, come on. No, we can't get out. The ruins of the temple will have blocked the passage. Follow me. Let's try to get out of these caves.
We must have covered miles by now. That miserable Vittorius, that traitor. It's all his fault that Mirit is a prisoner and the Queen has escaped. Isn't it odd that she preferred to escape rather than join Arimandro and his soldiers? It's even stranger that she saved our lives. She owed us nothing. I don't understand. Hey, look over there. Daylight. Daylight. Come on, let's go. Hurry. Where are we? I wonder if they're waiting for his signal. On your guard, everyone. mask, I've tried to do what I was unable to do as queen, to inspire love of liberty in my people and help them to destroy Armando's tyranny. I must give you terrible news. The forces of Parthia are moving toward our city, where Armando's soldiers are waiting. Together, they'll attack Syria. We must inform the proconsul. He'll mobilize the legions. They must try to stop the Parthians before they reach Arbella. I'll move as soon as they are engaged and attack the forces of Armando so they will be protected from behind. You must leave immediately for Antioch. I know what's the matter. Our companion, Myrta, she was no longer with us when we entered the passage. Glaucus, you are the only one who can convince old Quintilius of the gravity of the situation. No. You have to go. Don't worry. We'll look after Myrta. I'll send my men to the temple at once. They'll be able to search the area and even enter the city. They're able to pass unobserved. They'll find her. Oh. What have we done to cover all this suffering? Oh. What have we done? Oh. <laughs> By order of Prince Arimandro, we will execute ten citizens for each soldier killed by the rebels and will punish with death anyone found in possession of arms or harboring rebels. Come on, be quick. <laughs>
Have you found her yet? Where is she? That girl has been taken prisoner. She's locked in the dungeons. Come on, boys. We must set her free. We'll go to the city immediately. Now tell me, what's the situation? Are the gates closely guarded? Speak. What's wrong in our Bella? Surely you must have seen something. I've seen too much, Your Majesty. Too much suffering, too many atrocities. Arimandro's unleashed his mercenaries. Every household is mourning its dead. I must stop Arimandro. We mustn't wait any longer, even if we perish in the attempt. I won't wait for the legions. We'll attack at once. Very well, Your Majesty. already? I'd like this moment of peace and serenity to last forever. By tomorrow, many of my men will be dead. War is always a horrible thing, but yours is a just war. The future of your whole people is at stake. The people who love you. If only I had listened to my heart and to your words, when we were in the garden of your palace, we might have had time to plan something less risky. You see, it's you I'm worried about, Maluya. I value your life more than my own. When all of this is over, I hope you'll repeat those words, Rocha. I beg of you. Move along, hurry. Only women can go through. Men wait over here. Now. What can we do? Ah, I'm always the one who has to get you out of trouble. 